I saw these for sale at CasesParts.com. $15 for a bag of 10? I thought that's pretty cheap for a Hall Effect joystick module. Maybe even too cheap. So I had to give them a try. I mean, it's worth $15 just to see how they're made. Of course, it looks very much like any of the joystick modules. Is that logo a G or maybe a C? It's stamped on the frame and the plastic sensors. I don't recognize it. If anyone knows the brand, a comment would be great. So there's a tiny magnet on the shaft, and the hall sensor is mounted in the plastic shell that snaps on the joystick frame. Hall sensor is a six pin package with 93L35 on it. Even looks like it's mounted to a tiny double sided PC board. That's a pretty strong magnet. Probably a small rare earth magnet, so not the cheapest of magnets in the thing. These joysticks have to be center adjusted, or maybe better to say can be adjusted to the center. The part holding the magnet can turn a slight amount apart from the shaft, and it's pretty tight, but it would need to be. A controller has to be able to handle a high amount of shock. So it's relying on the friction between the two pieces to hold its alignment. The flat on the inner piece being a bit smaller than the flat on the outer piece allows the adjustment range. That is about as simple as it could get, I guess. The two small holes are how it's adjusted, and I think adjustment is going to be a pain. The two pieces have a lot of stick between them, seems to kind of move in snaps. I think this is due for an electrical test. I know the DualSense joysticks run off of 1.8 volts. So 1.8 volt goes to this pin. Ground is this pin. And the output will be on this center pin. I have 1.8 volts going to the positive pin of one of the joystick hall sensors. And now the meter is connected to the output pin. Perfect would be 0.9 volts, so a bit off. Let me do a bit of adjusting. So you pull the joystick to one side and then insert a small pin into the hole on the same side. The pin will stop the magnet part from turning, then need to apply a little pressure to the joystick, pushing it back toward the center. There is quite a bit of spring in the plastic connecting arms and shaft, so it's very hard to move it a small amount. Most of the time it doesn't move, or, with a little extra pressure, makes a small click sound and moves too far. For the most part, it seems to be a process of going in one direction, and then going back in the other direction and repeat till happy with the results. With a bit of patience, can get pretty close. Of course, this will have to be done after it's mounted on the DualSense PC board, so that will add a bit of a challenge. Depending on how close to center you want it, this could be very frustrating. One other thing I'm curious about is the power consumption of these hall sensors. The nominal value of the 2.3K ohm for the Favor Union potentiometer pull around 780 microamps. These pull about 100 microamps less. That's very good. Sure can't complain about that. This DualSense controller has had the left joystick replaced and both plastic thumb knobs. You can see the replacement joystick is a little more off-center than the original, but not by much. I'm going to replace the previously replaced joystick module with the new Hall sensor module. The original Alps right joystick still works great. And this is the version 1 controller, so I'm not going to mess with it. The pins on the hall sensor joystick fit just fine. I will solder two of the frame pins. Then double check and make sure the joystick module is flush to the PC board. Once I'm satisfied it is, I'll solder the rest of the pins. Fortunately, don't have to have all the flex cables hooked up to test and set the joystick center. I'll hook up the battery, then the USB cable to the computer. Neither axis is off-center a whole lot, but let's see how close I can get it. Well, I can sure make it worse, but was kind of expecting that. 
I think it's just going to be a process of going back and forth till I get it where I want it. Of course, there is some hysteresis in the spring system of the joystick module, so it won't return to the exact same spot when moved. I'm stopping the left-right adjustment here. I think it's a bit closer to left-right center than what I had in it. And it didn't take that long. Under three minutes to get it close enough? Not really as bad as I was expecting. I really shouldn't touch up and down. It's so close. But I'm going to try and move it just a bit. See if I can get it any closer without knocking it way out. Didn't click, so that's good. And I think it did move. Yeah, I think that is a bit closer. Close enough anyway, so I'm stopping here. Time to put it back together. Thumb knob fits on it just fine. Mechanical fit is just like a regular joystick module. After putting it all back together, it looks pretty good. At least the test pattern looks good. I'll try it for a week and see how it goes. After using it a bit, I'm pretty happy with it. It does have a bit different feel when using it. I can't really put my finger on what the difference is, but it's not bad. In fact, I'm starting to really like it. I guess the big question is, will it stay the same over the long term? And that will take some time to know. The slightly different feel to the joystick made me wonder if it was a mechanical difference or is it in the linearity of the output of the Hall sensor? This is one of the new Hall sensor joysticks. So let me see if I can measure the spring pressure of it. I felt that the initial movement force required for the Alps joysticks was a bit more than the Favor Union, though with the thumb knobs on, it's hard to tell any difference. Does it look like the joystick moves till get to maybe 90 plus grams? And looks like a pretty consistent 90 to 95 grams of force the spring provides. Now with the joystick at close to its maximum extent, looks to be around 85 grams of force. Not really much change in pressure over the entire range of movement. Now here is the Favor Union joystick. And looks to be around the 90 gram mark before the joystick starts to move. This one also seems to be at 90 to 95 grams of force. And with the joystick near maximum extent, maybe a bit over 85 grams, but not by much. The pressures are not the only similarities between the Favor Union and these Hall Sensor joysticks. Now the Alps joystick. Looks like it may be around the 110 gram range before the joystick moves. So it wasn't my imagination that the Alps took a bit more force to move the joystick and the spring pressure seems to be in the 105 to 110 gram range, so a bit more. And with the joystick close to full extent, getting a pretty consistent 85 grams, so that's about the same as the Favor Union. So it's just the initial force needed at the start. Wonder if that allows the Alps joystick to return to a more consistent center position. I do wonder if Favor Union is making these for some other company. The Hall sensor part will snap in place on a Favor Union joystick. Of course, the shafts are different, so can't just replace the Favor Union potentiometers with the Hall sensor and magnet piece. But the mechanical parts are just so similar. So I really think the different feel is coming from the signal output of the Hall sensor. The more I use it, the more I like it, and can't beat the price. And with no potentiometers to wear, it seems like the way to go. The downside, I guess, would be the slightly different feel. Thank you for watching.